Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this inspired lead bass sound from Anna and Miss Kitten's track Forever Ravers and it sounds like this. I just realized when I <laughs> turned off all the cameras that I did make a sample instrument from this. So if you want the link, just scroll down below and you can grab the, the sample instrument I made from this patch and then you can use that in your own productions. So the reason why I wanted to make this sound today because I found that when I recreated this patch or attempted to recreate this patch, a couple of the little things that I did made a huge difference. And I wanted to show you those so then maybe you could take some of those techniques and then put them into your own tracks or your own sound design and stuff like that. So let's get into it. So first up, we're gonna initialize the patch. And then usually we'll go initialize here and we'll go voice and then we want this to mono. Go back to the patch, turn oscillator two and three down, and we're just gonna have one going at the moment. So on the screen, I've got a little keyboard and I've got this oscilloscope sort of thing. So you can see when I play the note, what it's giving us information wise. So let's, go and find the first oscillator. And for this, I used the wavetable and I went through and I found this one, Zing. And the reason why I chose this one is because it's like a saw wave, but it's a ton of saw waves. It's like stacked. So then you kind of get that real sort of raspy, like gritty sound. So if I play it now, you can see it's a, the three, uh, it's like the three saw waves together. And while that's a pretty good sound on its own, I found doing one thing will help give us more movement and then bring the patch more alive. So this is definitely something you can do on like Serum and stuff like that. So I went to Shape Him Out. I think it's, um, I think that might be like wavetable position on Serum and stuff like that. So. So you can hear there, it's like that sort of wavetable-y sort of sound, you're gonna get that. But we're only gonna go a little bit, and then we're going to choose LFO1 to do that modulation for us. So then we don't have to move it at all, we're super lazy, well I'm super lazy. So then we'll come across, and if I play it again, there's like a little bit of movement, and then if we, come over to uh, LFO1 and then we actually there we go got a little just increase it up a little bit to 15 we'll probably pull it back a bit to 12 there and then for the LFO rate we're gonna slow that down and you can kind of see that the waveform is kind of dancing on the screen as I play and you can hear the changes of that. Next up, we're going to, actually we're going to pitch that down. So let's go down one octave. And you can really hear those changes now. Next up, we're going to add another oscillator. We'll pitch that one down and we're going to keep that as a saw, saw tooth and we'll bring up the volume. And I'll, I'll bring up the volume as I show you what's going on on the screen. So and it's kind of made it like a saw tooth but with some more oomph in it sort of thing. And then for this one as well I'm going to come along and I'm going to change the fine tune to seven cents and then that's really kind of rubbing the two together and it's giving us that sort of more width with that sound. 
and it's really so you can hear it really changing now next up we're going to look at the uh, the third oscillator and I'm going to for this I'm going to use a sub but for like serum and stuff you can just use the, the sub in serum it has a bit more control than just using the other oscillator so let's bring that one down one octave again and then let's choose the sine wave there and for this one same as what I did in the Kavinsky um, video is I didn't put the volume for the third oscillator the sub oscillator all the way to full I wanted to keep it back off a little bit because otherwise it could just eat up so much headroom so let's kind of do that to taste and I think I think that's about it there um, let's make sure we got the filter all the way open From here, we're gonna pull down the filter and then we're gonna add some envelope depth. So we're gonna go, we'll just do it by, to taste for now, but at the moment it's kind of four fifths, three quarters away, all the way to full. Um, and then we're gonna just adjust it with the envelope and the amp envelope. So let's, we'll get some sound going. So if I, if I take away the, the second and third oscillator, you can hear it's kind of there, but it just doesn't have that real nastiness to it. And that sub oscillator really comes into play when the filter's down and kind of gives that nice punch to it. So again, we've got the uh, the envelope depth here, and then we can just adjust these. So if we pull them all the way down, it's nice and sort of percussive. We want that driving sort of sound there. We want the notes to be almost held to full volume for the entire duration. So that's why we're going to keep the sustain pretty high. And then the release is about halfway there. For the amp envelope, Again, we're gonna go three quarters with a sustain and then the release just after, just over halfway there. So from here it goes super percussive. And then it's like just that wall of sound and then Back to that really percussive sort of sound. Next up, we're gonna look at some overdrive distortion and chorus. Um, so we pull those down, add some overdrive in. Already you can hear it kind of getting beefed up. Add some distortion. You've always gotta have distortion on these sort of patches. Pull down the volume just a hair. And then I love putting the chorus on, it kind of gives it that sort of synth wavy sort of sound with that all, like, all that aggression sort of thing, so. And then from here, I would just do multiple passes of just playing the filter and messing with the resonance to re kind of really give it something um, to kind of like really build up sections and kind of give more movement to the whole thing same same as what you would do with like a 303 or something like that so we'll get a kick in there So that's pretty much about the, the patch, but one thing I wanted to show you 
before we go, these changes might, you might pick up on them, but let's go and let's go back to just the sound. Take the chorus off. We're gonna take the distortion overdrive off. So you can already hear it's a big change in the sound. We're gonna have the fine, so it's exactly in tune. And then if I take the shape amount, you can really hear. Obviously, if we bring up, we've got the distortion and overdrive. Even then, it still sounds a little bit thin. And then when I add those other things in, like the fine tune, we'll go seven. You can really hear it thickens up there. And then the shape amount, we'll go about 10. We'll go 12, live large. Bring that chorus back in. And there's the changes. Only a couple of things like the fine tune and the shape amount and some of the effects, but I think it really makes a big difference when you're creating a patch that just those little tweaks as you're creating it can really make a big difference to the overall sound. So. As always, hopefully I've inspired you to create something today. And if you want to check out some of the other videos, you can click the links. And thank you all for the support. Until next time, see you later.